welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Jana Beck is now a unified middleweight champion. And look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And Jana Beck has come in and become a unified champion, stopping Gultieri, the IBF champion, undefeated prime world champion, stopped him in six rounds. Jana Beck literally put on a master class, went every single round easily, stopped the guy in the sixth round. Now he's a unified champion at 160 pounds. He's obviously the best fighter in the division. And at the end of the day, you know, I see why Demetrius Andre didn't want to fight this guy. I see why Demetrius Andre ducked that fight. I mean, think about it. Jana Beck has skills. He has speed. He has power. He has a chin. He has all the things that make him a dangerous and undesirable fighter for guys to want to fight when there's not a multi-million dollar Canelo Alvarez payday behind it. I mean, let's just be honest and unbiased. Jana Beck is the real deal. He's a unified champion, the number one fighter at 160 pounds. And I'm just going to be honest and unbiased. You know, Jana Beck is showing us that this guy is better than anybody even believes. I mean, he won over 300 plus amateur fights for a reason. He has a lot of skills. People always look over Jana Beck. They push him to the side. But this man is really a good fighter, a dangerous fighter. And he's literally improving fight by fight, even with 300 plus amateur fights in his background. So that really shows you that Jana Beck is not to play with. I mean, in my opinion, I think a great fight for Jana Beck if he can't get another unification fight with either Jamal Charlo or Itis Lanny Lada next, I think a good fight for him would be a Terrence Crawford fight after he fights Errol Spence. I mean, Terrence Crawford's willing to move up. Terrence Crawford's looking for legacy fights. And what's wrong with the fight? For Terrence Crawford to win a world title in his fourth weight class, which would be 160 pounds. I mean, think about it. Crawford could be a four-weight world champion. Jana Beck's a unified champion at 160 pounds. That would be excellent. I think that would be a great fight for, you know... Terrence Crawford and Jana Beck, I think that would be very intriguing, especially since that's closer to the weight that Terrence Crawford wants to fight at. I mean, look, at the end of the day, you know, nobody wants to fight Jana Beck. He's been calling out Jamal Charlo. He didn't want it. He's been trying to fight Demetrius Andre. Demetrius Andre threw his belt in the trash, went on to fight Damon Nicholson after, tried to fight Chris Eubank. At the end of the day, you know, Jana Beck is the real deal, and he got these guys running away from him because this guy has skills, he has power, he has a chin. He has everything that you look for in a fighter. Because men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.